An event happening this weekend in Grand Rapids, 20 years in the making for Richard DeVos. New tonight, 24 Hour News 8 Zach Horner spoke with a close friend of DeVos who shares his long history with the family and how important City Fest is to the legacy of the DeVos family patriarch. Zach. Luis Palau and Richard DeVos share a long history together. And this weekend, Luis will celebrate a triumph, but without his dear friend by his side. His son Doug, he and I talked a week ago, and he's told me, you know, that's very close to going to heaven, you know. The DeVos name, one of prominence in the story of Grand Rapids, but along with his love of the city, Rich was a devout Christian. He said, I want all of Western Michigan to know that I am a believer in Jesus Christ. Luis and Rich started planning City Fest years ago. Now it's all coming together as a Christian festival this weekend at Anabowin Park. This festival is sort of a, a picture of Rich's life, you know, in a way, it's his last gift to West Michigan. That's the way he saw it. The event bringing families together for music, fun, and Christian fellowship. Luis was close to his dear friend. He jokes about the timing of his passing. Lo and behold, we're going to have the festival, and he gets the center of attention. He takes off for heaven, and it's kind of like him, you know, to do things dramatically. Luis says he's excited for City Fest to bring Rich's Christian message to West Michigan. And he knows he'll be looking down from above. I would have given anything to haul him up into the platform and we'd have probably had to pick him up in his wheelchair and bring him up there and have him greet the crowd. That was sort of my dream. This weekend's festival will be one final accomplishment for a man to whom West Michigan owes so much. He's in a good place, he's in the best place, and the best airport to land of the many airports he landed in is heaven. The other one is not recommended. Starts with an H also. <laughs> Well, City Fest is Saturday and Sunday in Anabawin Park, and it's free to attend.